Team coverage continues for you tonight. Nursing homes in Connecticut were hit hard during the peak of the pandemic. And now a brand new report released today shows what went wrong and what the state can do to protect seniors moving forward. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is joining us right now with more details on this tonight. Sharon. Well, Mark and Aaron, I spoke with a woman whose father died from COVID-19 while he was a nursing home resident. She says that the recommendations released today are a good start. He was so wonderful. Um, he just liked to joke around. He was pretty happy-go-lucky. Lisa Sear says her father, Philip Perkowski, was the life of the party and her family's ray of sunshine. He was a resident at Touch Points at Farmington Rehab when he tested positive for COVID-19. Her mother is a resident there, too, and tested positive around the same time. Sear's dad died on May 4th. We were unfortunate to lose our dad. Um, very fortunate to have our mom push through that. Today was Sears' first time visiting her mother inside her nursing home since March. She says she was told if COVID spikes again, visits are over. That is a daunting, daunting thought for me to not be able to get back in there and see my mom again. But today, an independent research group released the final report on the response to COVID-19 in nursing homes, with state leaders hoping to avoid that. One of the key findings, nursing homes and communities with high COVID rates and those with more dialysis or cancer treatments tend to have higher rates. They released recommendations too, 45. The key recommendations include considering legislation to increase minimum staffing in homes and a full-time infection preventionist, and ensuring all nursing staff has access to guaranteed pay sick leave. This as Connecticut's COVID rates increase and flu season gets closer. We're not out of the woods and we have to be very diligent about these flare-ups. Sierra agrees with guaranteed sick leave and other recommendations, but after months of being apart from her mom and mourning her dad, she wants to take it a step further. I just hope that we have a vaccine that comes out soon and that families have more opportunities to get in and see their loved ones because this is, this is hard. And the state recently relaxed visitation policies at nursing homes, allowing people inside. But today, DPH says there will be restrictions when there's an outbreak at a home. Live at the Digital Desk tonight, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.